The Spring by Thomas Carey, 1595-1640 Now that the winter's gone, the earth has lost her snow-white robes, and now no more the frost candies the grass, or casts an icy cream upon the silver lake or crystal stream. But the warm sun thaws the benumbed earth and makes it tender, gives a sacred birth to the dead swallow, wakes in hollow tree the drowsy cuckoo and the humble bee. Now do a choir of chirping minstrels bring in triumph to the world the youthful spring. The valleys, hills and woods in rich array welcome the coming of the longed-for May. Now all things smile, only my love doth lower, nor hath the scalding noonday sun the power to melt that marble ice which still doth hold her heart congealed and makes her pity cold. The ox, which lately did for shelter fly into the stall, doth now securely lie in open fields. And love no more is made by the fireside, but in the cooler shade. Amtias now doth with his chloris sleep under a sycamore, and all things keep time with the season. Only she doth carry June in her eyes, and in her heart, January. Okay, this poem is by Thomas Carey. Notice, I know the name is written Carew, or Carew, but it's pronounced Carey, the marvels of English pronunciation. Um, Thomas Carey uh, came from London. Um, let's see, his mother was daughter of the Lord Mayor of London, um, and he went to Merton College, Oxford. Um, he's known as uh, effectively a poet and a courtier, a, mem a member of the of the court. So, what's this poem about? Okay, this is a poem about spring and unrequited love. It's about how spring comes to the earth and everything starts growing and flowering and the birds singing uh, and the frost has gone. But the woman that he loves does not love him. And the growth of spring, there isn't a similar growth of love for him in her heart. So, now that the winter's gone, the earth hath lost her snow-white robes, and now no more the frost candies the grass. So, winter's gone, and here we've got a personification of earth. The earth has lost her snow-white robes, so the covering of snow has disappeared. And now no more the frost candies the grass. Um, if you candy something, you coat it with sugar. Yeah, so here we've got a metaphor that the frost on the grass looks like candy. And this has gone as well. Or casts an icy cream upon the silver lake or crystal stream. So now there is no longer um, ice covering uh, the lakes or the rivers, and the rivers are now silver and crystal, lovely colours. But the warm sun thaws the benumbed earth and makes it tender. So the sun is warm and it thaws, it melts the benumbed earth. If you are numb, you can't feel things, particularly if it's cold, your fingers go numb because it's so cold and makes it tender, makes it loving. And here he's already alluding to the love of this woman. Yeah, so this warm sun unfortunately can't thaw, thaw her benumbed heart and not make it tender. Gives a sacred birth to the dead swallow. 
so swallows that weren't there before are have suddenly appeared wakes in the hollow tree the drowsy cuckoo and the humble bee so the cuckoo 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 which has been sleeping all winter in the hole in the hollow of a tree wakes up and the same with the bees the bees are suddenly here again now do a choir of chirping minstrels bring in triumph to the world the youthful spring so chirping chirp 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 yeah the birds chirping so a choir of chirping minstrels a choir are the people who sing in church yeah and suddenly we have uh, all of these birds which he's called a choir of chirping minstrels bring tri bring in triumph to the world so triumph over winter winter is gone and here a new young spring has appeared the valleys hills and woods in rich array welcome the coming of the longed for may so the hills the valleys and the woods in rich array they're covered in leaves they're covered in flowers and that this is like they're saying welcome welcome to may which has been longed for which all through the winter uh the countryside has been hoping and waiting for it to come now all things smile only my love doth lower so everything smiles but his love the woman that he loves doesn't smile she lowers i think she leers she has a um, a rather angry expression nor hath the scalding noonday sun the power to melt that marble ice so this beautiful hot scalding burning boiling hot sun at midday it doesn't have to, the power to melt the ice that is like marble but this is the ice in her heart so this the coming of spring and the coming of sun the sun can't melt this uh coldness yeah which still doth hold her heart congealed and makes her pity cold so her heart is made of ice like marble and that ice holds her heart solidified congealed and makes her pity cold she doesn't feel pity for me yeah she uh, doesn't um, feel pity for my love and she doesn't show that she loves me at all the ox which lately did for shelter fly into the stall doth now securely lie in open field so an ox this is like a cow yeah which recently ran to sh to hide in its stall in its home but recently it were it was running into its stall having been outside because uh, the weather was terrible but now it just lies happily in the open fields and it knows that the uh, w it can be relaxed and there's going to be no bad weather and love no more is made by the fireside but in the cooler shade amintas now doth with his chloris sleep under a sycamore so amintas and chloris these are um a pair of lovers and um they they used to go inside uh, and make love by the fireside yeah but now uh, the weather is good and they lie in cool shade outside yeah so the weather has changed they go in cooler shade under a sycamore and all things keep time with the season so everything happens according to God's plan and to, according to the nature the uh, uh, timetable of nature only she doth carry June in her eyes and in her heart January so in her eyes she looks like June in her eyes there is incredible beauty and flowers and all of the beautiful things of nature but her heart 
is as cold as January, is covered in ice and snow. So, there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. The Spring, Thomas Carey.